boy five years old who made that from Pireus. So let's see a little bit the mask in the global. Uh, however, the importance of the mask for the primitive society is the spirit, uh, what characterizes uh, what characterizes the mask. The spirit, uh, the spirit is of mystery of all religion. When he speak, when we speak for a mask, we are referring to some human face. It's also the biggest source by which are satisfied often personal needs. The mask uh, which followed the prosopion, the mask, the ancient Greek mask, is Gorgonion. This is on the shield of uh, Athena, the, the goddess Athena. It's, a gold, uh, it's Gorgon, they call it Gorgon. And it is bodiless head of Gorgius, Gold uh, which was believed that it had different power against the criminal forces. In Greek, we call it Philacto. The king Agamemnon had on his uh, had his Gorgon depicted on seal. Um, the power or strong of the mask is evidenced in the Golden Death Mask of Mykene. Uh, they use it, uh, the king Agamemnon and his wife Clytemnestra of the 16th century BC used that, uh, for, they use it for the, their death. Let's see now the, the mask of ancient Greek drama. Uh, here we have one uh, theater masks. Here we have more, uh, sorry, sorry. Here we have one huge bronze mask. This is from the Archaeological Museum of Piraeus, and it's tragic. Um, two more uh, masks from ceramic. One is silent, that's why the mouth is closed, and the other is female though. And the other one is uh, male, but uh, screaming uh, mouth open. And uh, we have uh, other masks, the marble masks. Uh, they have different characteristics. Uh, for the for the mask uh, for uh, the global mask, there is uh, the, the mask house to have a definition uh, for it because it's very difficult. But for the theater mask, we have a definition. This is the definition. The mask that is still alive in theatre is defined as face head mask, which means it is a face head that aims to change the characteristics of user with deliberate and on a purpose way. This is the theatre or the ancient this is the ancient Greek theatre skin. The theatre for Europe and the entire world was born in Greece and functioned for one million years, 500 BC and till 500 AC, till the arrival of Christianity. The fatherhood of theatre is attributed to Thespis from Icari Island, who with his courage travelled, courage is Caro, and gave performances, performances, was the first actor, the first impresario theater director, and first scenographer for his invention <coughs> of skin, costume, mask, which call, was called Thespis Tunic. In every mask, we find the three categories of persons that are related with this, the artist, the user and the spectator. He used a courage as self-programmed stage and with the power that distinguished him, open dialogue with the chorus, the theorem, 550 representatives of 50 nations of Attica in the uh, big feasts, festivals of Athens. The poets of that period who wrote tragedies were Aeschylus, Sophocles, and Euripides, and comedies, Aristophanes. Um, 
This is the first marble theater in Athens, uh, Dionysus, they call it. Um, that's what the actors wear, <coughs> tunic and big masks, and comic masks. So each one of the actors, only men, played more from one role's identity, identities. Maximum eight roles and the female roles as well. This created a need for the mask to be used by the same actor, giving him the possibility to change easily and quickly the different identities. The chorus plays an important role as well. It is constituted by enough individual spectators, mainly slaves, at the chorus. Uh, the mask is the most important piece of the costume uh, for the actor identity, and we can call it mask costume. Without the mask, we won't say anything. Uh, to the theater was gone entire the city. Entire the city was going to the theater from the morning till the evening, carried also their food. They did not pay any ticket. The expenses of work, they, they, were, uh, they, was, uh, they, they were covered by the state and by the sponsor, as an example, from the sponsor Alkiviadis. Um, apart the recreational theater had also educational character. It was like a school. The entire city went to the theater, roughly 20,000 citizens and so the mask had to be big and were intense to be possible to distinguish the diversity of each characteristic character identity to hear well the echo of boys or the actor uh, with a relative differentiation of opening of in the mouth they were closed though when they presented dumb faces. The audience sitting far away from the stage had to be able to hear the actor's voice through the mouth of the mask which functioned as speaker in the skin. The famous artist created this archaic mask using materials that emanated from the animal, wool, and plant and plant kingdom wood or cloth, but also from the mining wealth of earth, ceramic or plaster, or metal or clay. Uh, famous sculptures responded and created the mass of the place of drama poets. On the stage, we will see the actors and the chorus, the settings of the costume, also the sound and the, mo uh, the movement of the actors with the masks uh, to the drama of the poet. History, political situations, religious element, friendship, love, war, faith and devotion are praised. Aristophanes lived in 446 BC to 386 BC. His father was Athenian, but Aristophanes maybe, maybe was perhaps from Athens or in Aegina Island. Lysistrata was one of his 11 saved comic plays. At that period, Aristophanes 411 BC Experiences the difficult moments uh, were based uh, past the democracy in Athens, as well as other facts that him uh, forced that him forced as uh, patriot to write his strata, which was invention of his imagination. The Athenian state had direct need to stop the war because sooner or later they would lose it with Athens would be lost whole will be lost the whole Greek culture. <coughs> 